So I did a video on The Little Mermaid. If you guys missed it because it got suppressed or whatever, you can go check it out. It's on my channel. I released it yesterday from this video that you're watching now. But at this point in time, Disney has essentially mastered the whole Call Everybody Racist playbook. They have basically come out and they have literally mastered that playbook to the point where I think what they're going to do is every single time they release a black lead actor, actress, or whatever, they're immediately going to start that playbook right off the bat. They're not even going to wait anymore. They don't even wait until they get the backlash, they literally create the backlash. You know what I'm saying? It's like they literally manufacture the bullshit and then they want to claim like to be a victim. So now, of course, we have The Little Mermaid and Daily Wire has written an article recently that's pretty good. Uh, it talks about the fact that how Disney literally, like I just said, it is manufacturing the backlash. They come out immediately before anybody even says anything and they say, oh, look how many people are racist, blah, blah, blah. They have all of this already planned they have probably every tweet every stand in solidarity tweet imaginable they have it planned before the show the movie is ever even revealed at this point i would even dare to say that it is part of the storyboarding for the actual movie itself you know what i mean so let's get into the article guys but of course before we do if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know we thought it's a story and let's get into the video guys All right, guys, today's article comes from us from The Daily Wire, and it says, Disney just released the trailers for his newest live-action remake, The Little Mermaid, and reactions have been strong from the get-go. Like with other projects, detractors are being told it's racist to dislike this new version. Now, of course, here we go. This is the newest, latest uh, Little Mermaid. Definitely no, looks nothing like The Little Mermaid, I gotta say. Actually, you know what? I saw something funny. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I saw something funny on my Twitter. Uh, that I think I actually reposted. I'm pretty sure I did. I hope I did. God, if I didn't, that's going to be uh, pretty fail. But here, let me see if I find it. Yeah, so I did. I did actually. Uh, I did find it. So this was actually from uh, a retweet from Lofty, which I thought was interesting because he's a shill, apparently, for the Rings of Power, supposedly. But this is uh, from Lofty. And check this out. So, <laughs> man, Asians are hardcore. Let me tell you, man. Asians don't give a fuck, bro. They don't care about this social justice bullshit they don't care once in the slightest but look at this so they took the the little mermaid right the reveal and, <laughs> and this is fucking legit this is what a live action little mermaid should look like this is perfect this is unbelievably perfect look at this the red lipstick the red flowing hair the blue eyes everything this is perfect so whoever did i can't read this shit but whoever did this man you are fucking ruthless i love it so much because this is literally what it should look like and this is what the modern day tells us it should look like and it's fucking bullshit we all know what's bullshit none of this none of this is fucking real man it's not this is corporate pandering to the max i don't give a fuck how much you want to say oh black people exist stop taking white culture known characters stop it this is a danish character this is how it should look right here this looks fucking perfect. It does. I'm sorry. It does. I don't care what anybody says. It just does. But we're going to get back into the article. I just thought I would share that because this is not The Little Mermaid. I'm sorry. As much as you want to hate me for saying it, it's just not. The studio chose Halle Bailey to portray the Finn princess because the actress is black. Many are already saying any criticism must be racially motivated. However, early critics have plenty of complaints about the movie that have nothing to do with Ariel's skin color. First and foremost is the fact that The Little Mermaid is being remade at all. The original 1989 cartoon version is considered a true triumph of the Disney catalog. Fans are confused that a movie mostly set under the sea is now being told in live action form. Plus, there's the question of what value can be added from telling the same story that's already been told. The Little Mermaid is the latest in a long line of remakes from the studio. Most of them haven't been well received by fans. Nope, just nope. Stop ruining old classics with remakes, one viewer exclaimed. And that's true. We do see a ton of remakes coming from Disney, but the reason why we see so many remakes is because creatively, Disney is suffering. They hired activists. They didn't hire actual creative people. So since you have activists, all they can do is take what's already been made because they can't create anything like evil normally can. They take what, what has already been made and they corrupt it. That's what they do. So now you have your activists. So what are they going to do? They're going to take everything that existed, existed prior to them. They're going to insert their identity politics into it and they're going to ruin it for everybody. That's what they do because these people live in misery. So since they live in misery, they want you as well to live in misery. And they're going to try to bring you there by destroying everything that you grew up with. It says other viewers were confused with how, how Bailey interpreted the classic song, Part of Your World. Okay, we need to talk about her singing. Part of Your World is supposed to be a song of longing and a light, quiet end to her voice. Why is she mixing it up? Like, why? Another responded when the trailer came out. There was a lot of negative comments about how dark the movie appears, at least from the trailer. 
Haley sounds beautiful singing part of your world. No complaints about Haley at all. The movie just looks so dark, one person wrote. You may say it's under the sea. Yes, that's true. But it's also about a mermaid. I just like to see a bright, colorful film. It's shot so dark. Some commenters couldn't understand why the red-headed mermaid, Princess Ariel, switched ethnicities. In response to those in questions, one person said, everybody's forgetting that the red-head Ariel is not the original Little Mermaid. A lot of things were changed from the film that nobody argues. She had blonde hair and her name was Marina. So why should it matter if her race changes? It just sounds like racism to me. Because at the end of the day, if you change the hair color, you're not really taking the suspension of disbelief too much out of it, in my opinion. If you change the hair color, she had blonde hair, you change it red, okay, big deal you know what i'm saying like that's a little bit of a of a nuance but when you make the character completely go against what it originally was and not only that it's a danish character so of course it's expected to most likely be white that that seems to be that you are trying to take known white culture and characters and try to swap it and you're trying to deflect and say oh well it's allowed because they changed hair color last time like what it just it doesn't seem like a, a, a actual good argument to have it says YouTube no longer shows dislikes on videos, but those with the extension that tracks down votes say negative reactions for the outnumber the likes. As of Monday, the trailer had 9.4 million views and only 359,000 likes. And you know what's funny? I believe this thing has over 1.1 million dislikes now. Let's go check the trailer, see if we can find it. I got to look it up really quick. We'll see if we can find it. And I'm pretty sure it's over 1.1 million dislikes. Let's see. Yeah, this thing has over 1.2 million fucking dislikes. Look at this. Over 1.2 million dislikes that I obviously partook in because, you know, it's bullshit. <laughs> My comment, I love the part where Ariel told Ursula, I'll be back, just like her father said to her so many years ago, yet to return. Chills. <laughs> oh, man, I tickled myself. Fucking hell, man. I love the comments. The part where Ariel lights up a cigar, sips her sparkling water, and asks Ursula, what color is your Bugatti? <laughs> Had me in tears. I love the part where Ariel said, everything that lives is designed to sing. We're perpetually trapped in a never-ending cycle of remakes and reboots. Is this a blessing or some kind of lucky coincidence? Masterpiece of all time. Man, I love the part where Ariel says, I'm not in danger, Ursula. I am the day. <laughs> Breaking bad moment. Nice, man. Listen, this, this just goes to show the true people don't like this shit. This movie is going to go the way of light year. It's going to go the way of light year. I'm sorry, it is. It's going to bomb. It's going to fail. You could blame racism all that you want, but you are creatively bankrupt. You're already making a remake of a movie nobody asked to be remade, and now you're going to inject in identity politics into it and try to pretend like you're not doing it. People can see right through you. Your game is up. It doesn't work anymore. So claim racism all you want. It doesn't matter to me, but at the end of the day, no matter how much you fight it, they are going to be able to see right through your nonsense. So I'm sorry for you that your old played out playbook doesn't work anymore. You need to find a new strategy because pandering to black people clearly is not working the way you thought it was going to work. I'm sorry. And please do me a favor. Don't pander to Hispanics either. We don't need that shit. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.